Hi, I'm Colton with Porsche Center Calgary, and this is one of our 2018 McCanns. Uh, now, this one, I'll dive in a little bit about what's uh, what's on this car. So we have Carrera White which is our uh, metallic white paint. This one's gonna sparkle a little bit more in the sunlight uh, as opposed to just the regular white, right? Comes with a bit of a uh, surcharge, but when you look at the two side by side, uh, it's a little bit, um, it's a little bit nicer, has a little bit more depth to it. Um, also outside, uh, we upgraded the wheels a little bit. 18 inches standard, which this still is size-wise, but it's the McCann S wheel. A slightly different design, you've got the split spoke, which we find is actually quite a bit more popular than the regular, um, more basic five spokes. We added those to this one. Um, and then on the inside, we did the standard interior, but in the two-tone, the black and beige. So with that, you get the black dashboard, carpets, steering wheel, all those kind of high, um, high traffic areas, if you will, they, they get a little bit dirtier, uh, they're black. So it's it's much better than when we used to do the full beige, right? It got dirty, uh, the carpets in particular, but also the steering wheel with your hands on it all the time, they got pretty dirty. Um, and then the dashboard, when it was beige, would really reflect onto the dash. So with, with this two-tone, you get all those important parts in black, but you still have that lighter feeling in the cabin because you have the uh, the, the beige, the Luxor beige, as Porsche calls it. Uh, for the seats, the lower part of the dash and the doors, um, which is, which is a nice touch, right? We sell so many just full black cars that it's nice to have something a little bit different. And then to go um, kind of to further that a little bit, uh, we put a different trim on here as well. The standard trim on the car is just kind of a matte black, uh, which is fine and really flexible, works with any color combos. Um, but with this, we did the dark burr walnut, which is uh, which is pretty nice. I, I'm a big fan of the wood trims. I feel like we don't see them enough uh, anymore, and they, they can really make it feel uh, just really premium, really nice inside, uh, and again, a little different than uh, than everybody else, right? So. Um, color kind of scheme wise that's what we've gone for here in terms of some of the options that we've added um, firstly the premium package plus which we'll put on just about all of our cars uh, I think it's a really worthwhile package and I think once you have it you have everything that you need so um, some of what's in that package firstly you get your seat upgrade 14-way seat um, over the standard eight-way. When you go to the 14-way, firstly, the whole seat's leather too, which it isn't on the eight-way. Alcantara in the centers and kind of faux leather on the outsides. 14-way is, is a genuine leather seat, um, but you gain the thigh extension piece and four-way lumbar support, which you don't get on that standard seat. You also get uh, driver and passenger memory, and it is 14-way adjustable on both sides, by the way, um, but also memory. So you can store your, your seat and steering wheel and mirrors, all those positions into your, uh, just into the profiles, the buttons on the side of the, of the door. Um, um, but what a lot of people don't realize is it also uh, stores all of your other settings. So how long you want your headlights to stay on when you turn the car off, uh, whether you want just the driver's door to unlock or all of them when you touch them, um, all kinds of stuff like that. You can tailor all of that to, um, to your, your liking and store it into those profiles. So uh, you get that. You also get the uh, ventilated seats. He heated seats as standard, uh, but you get ventilated as part of the premium package plus. You also get heated seats in back and you get the upgraded audio system as well. So you have the Bose audio, uh, which is a pretty pretty nice system actually. Uh, several more speakers and more, more power than the standard system. It's really quite good. Uh, you can upgrade further to the Burmester if you're really passionate about your music, um, but for most people, uh, the Bose is more than adequate. It's, it's quite good. Um, and then as well, you get the full panoramic sunroof it has become a hugely popular option. Uh, so we'll make sure that's in just about all of our cars, though um, some of them we've started ordering without, um, primarily because you do gain that little bit of extra headroom when you don't have the sunroof on there. So most of them will have it, but if you're just not a sunroof person, or if you need the extra height, we will have a couple of options without for you as well. Um, also, you get the um, entry and drive. So you can just leave your key in your pocket or purse, touch the door handle to unlock it, uh, and then um, get inside and just flip the ignition switch without having to take the key out of your pocket. Not a standard feature, an option, but part of this package. So this car and just about all of ours will have it. Uh, and then as well, uh, you get a headlight upgrade too. So this one has the bi-xenon uh, dynamic lights. So they're about twice as bright as the standard halogens and they are dynamic. So they'll turn with the steering wheel, they'll look further down the road as you speed up uh, and they have headlight washers as well. So every uh, fifth time you spray or you pull to spray the windshield, uh, it'll spray the headlights as well. And you get a little button to spray just the headlights on demand if you want to. Um, and then the last thing we added, uh, well, two more things, sorry in addition to the package. That's pretty well everything that's in that package. Uh, but we also added the lane change assist uh, or a blind spot warning, right? That's been another one that we've seen a huge spike in demand. So most of our cars, we put that in now. Uh, and then the Connect Plus, which gives you quite a few things. People buy it primarily, we find, for the Apple CarPlay functionality, right? Which is a 
big thing. I have it in my car and I use it all the time. Um, so we'll put it in there uh, to get that, but you also get um, the option if you want to tether it to the data on your phone or uh, get a SIM card dedicated to the car, you can plug it into the dash and then you have access to a bunch of other stuff like uh, traffic, weather, um, parking, flights, all that kind of stuff. You can pull that all uh, up right in the infotainment system of the car. So pretty cool stuff uh, and it will be uh, standard moving forward in a lot of Porsche products so we've started to add it um, now while it's optional to try and um, I think increase the longevity of these cars all right they'll, they'll feel a little bit more modern and up-to-date further down the road than if you own a car without it then it starts to feel a little bit more dated right so most of our cars we've equipped it with uh, but it is something you'll, you'll see is missing uh, from a lot of the inventory at other stores so worth noting uh, so that's that's kind of what makes this car special. That's the equipment in this guy. Uh, really nice example, but we, we're in a good position right now where we have a lot of McCann inventory. So keep scrolling, check out our, our, our other videos. Sorry, uh, I'm sure we can find the right one for you. Thanks very much for watching.